गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो वेलकम टू ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर नंबर 18 ऑफ मॉड्यूल थ्री सो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द नेचर ऑफ ह्यूमन सिस्टम एंड अबाउट द डायमेंशंस विच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू एंश्योर द स्मूथ रनिंग ऑफ द सिस्टम इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर बेसिकली गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब dimension of education in detail so when we will talk about education we will talk about content of education and process of education so basically this lecture number 18 is devoted to the content of dimension of education so we are going to study what would be the contents of the dimension of education required for a fulfilling life so let's see what contents are required so before describing contents of the education system education dimension let's study goal of education so what would be the goal of education so we can say that the goal of education is to ensure development of those abilities in individual which are essential for ensuring harmonious society and order so basically education has to ensure those abilities in individual which are actually required for a fulfilling life so the goal of education is to facilitate the process of developing those abilities in individual which are actually essential for harmonious society so we had initially recognized in previous lectures that the right understanding right feelings and right thoughts at the level of self is an individual need so it is a very important need to ensure right understanding right feeling right thought at the level of individual so one goal of this education is to ensure right understanding right feeling right thought in every individual then we can say there is a need to develop the ability to right utilize our mind body and wealth means natural resources so we can say the second goal of education is to ensure those abilities so that one can ensure right utilization of mind body and wealth we can also see that it is our necessity to develop the ability to behave and produce in a mutually fulfilling manner the ability to participate in the larger order so we can say the next goal of education would be develop the ability in individuals so that one can behave in a harmonious manner with people and one can produce while ensuring mutual enrichment cyclicity in the nature and one should have the ability to participate in the larger order so in nutshell we can say the purpose of education is to develop all those abilities that are required for a mutually fulfilling interaction that are required to live in a mutually fulfilling manner that are required for a fulfilling life so ensuring such education basically has two important components number 1 we will talk about what would be the right content so that everyone take everyone must ensure the ability that are required for a fulfilling life then next is what would be the right process of education so all these two points we are going to discuss so let's start with the content of education first 
so content of education we are going to find out those content of education that are actually required for a fulfilling life so for example mental education so mental education is required for a fulfilling life so mental education will ensure clarity of our goals programs etc knowledge of keeping activities of the self in harmony so basically if we have this mental education then this education can ensure the clarity in individuals for their goals and programs this education can ensure knowledge this education can ensure awareness in the self keeping all activities in harmony so that's why this education is required for a fulfilling life so once one goes through this kind of education he would be able to himself keep in harmony he would be able to visualize goals personal and at the level of society <clears throat> so this is the importance of mental education <clears throat> next we can talk about behavioral education so next important content of education is behavioral education because for a fulfilling life a mutually fulfilling behavior is required so we talked about in previous lectures about established values about expressed values about justice which are required for a fulfilling life so this kind of education is also required so that one can improve his or her ability to ensure a mutually fulfilling behavior in a relationship with human being so with mental education this behavioral education is also required next we can talk about health education so in health education self regulation in the self intake daily routine etc are required to be known by for everyone so at the level of self there is a need of feeling of self regulation with this feeling of self regulation one can decide correct lifestyle intake daily routine different exercises for healthy body so this skill is also required so that one should be aware what is required to nurture the body one should be aware how can i protect my body one should be aware how can right utilization of the body so nurturing knowledge of nurturing protection and right utilization is also required in everyone for a fulfilling life that's why this health education is also important in education next we can talk about education for right utilization so understanding of this role of physical facility in nurturing and protection of the body and for social purpose is also required for a fulfilling life so one should be able to ensure right utilization of physical facilities so right utilization means understanding of enrichment protection and right utilization of the body so once one is able to ensure enrichment protection and right utilization of the nature physical resources then only the physical resources are available generation by generation so the education which ensures ability of right utilization of body right utilization of mind 
right utilization of physical resources are also required for a fulfilling life it means such kind of education is also required to ensure human order to ensure harmonious life next we can see the education for production so physical facility plays also an important role because for nurturing the body physical facility is required for running the system various physical facilities are required and that comes from the natural resources so education that tell us about production the processes of production such processes through which once need is fulfilled and mutual enrichment of rest of the order can also be ensured such kind of education is also re required so there is need for education which can tell us about production processes which can tell us about ethical production processes where nurturing of human being and nurturing of rest of nature is also required so if we ensure such kind of production uh, education then ethical process production processes can be ensured in the society then we can talk about education for participation in the system so understanding of the human order learning and pra practicing the processes and skills required for participation in human system is also required so this skill is also required in every one so that one can understand the whole human order one can learn one can practice the processes and skills which are required for participation in human system in larger order so all this should be the content of education so what would be the content of education for a harmonious society for a human order for a fulfilling life so mental education behavioral education health education education for right utilization education for production education for participation in the system is required now you can think of it you explore it whether all this kind of education is required for a fulfilling life what would happen if we miss any of this content and what else is required if we fulfill all this content in education so all these you have to investigate in yourself so visualize a harmonious society and explore in the context of education system what should be the contents of education so that everyone's desire for fulfilling life can be ensured so the proposal of this course is if we ensure these contents in our education system then a environment for harmonious society can be ensured so let's move then what is the significance of the current subjects if you see the current syllabus current scope of study various syllabus are being taught various courses are being taught like geography history science physics chemistry biology botany civic science management psychology and so many so if these are the contents of the education for a fulfilling life then what would be the placement of this subject what are the significance of this subject the present subject which are being taught in classrooms in colleges so let's try to understand their placement their significance so for example geography so if we look at geography what would be its significance it is useful 
in understanding the weather the climate what can be produced where can be produced what would be the good land what would be the right direction to produce the things all this can be studied in geography so basically geography can be studied from the view of the production because production is required for a fulfilling life and study of geography can help us which crop is required in this season in this geographical geographical area etc all this can be studied in this geography similarly if we look at history so what would be the role of history when we go to assess human endeavor then we can see then it is necessary to know its historical perspective to know how things have developed so the role of history is to take inspiration from the past inspiration in the right direction so we can evaluate what was happened what efforts had been made for a harmonious society for relationship for a civilization to be in harmony all this study can be done from history and if it is harmonious coexistential then we should continue it if there is any deficiency if we found any deficiency during this study we should modify it we should reevaluate it so that next generation may learn from history and next generation may live in harmony so in this manner the role of history is important significant now let's see the example of science so science is basically is to understand the laws of nature what are natural laws we can study under this science so this study can help in two ways number 1 it helps to maintain the cycle of nature and we can also learn and understand different methods of production so with the science we can study all natural laws and while producing things while designing things we can ensure those laws we must ensure that those laws are not disturbed while ensuring our creativity while any inventions we should be aware what are the natural laws that have to be preserved so all this study we can do science in science science can also be studied according to the order established in nature so it is categorized as bio order and physical order so bio order is subsequently divided into botany and geology similarly if we look at physics so what would be the role of physics what is significant of physics so basically physics is helping in understanding the happening taking place in nature so for example example of a storm how this event happen in the nature tornado how it works how it is generated in the nature many phenomena we can understand with the help of physics for example lightning in the cloud we can understand it with the help of physics we can understand it underlying principles and with the understanding of these underlying principles we can develop our social structures so basically the phenomena that occur physically are placed under physics and the events that occur chemically are placed under chemistry so if we look at chemistry this is study of chemical activities 
ओके सो इन केस ऑफ बायोलॉजी सो वी मेनली स्टडी द फिजियोलॉजी ऑफ द एनिमल बॉडी एंड ह्यूमन बॉडी विच कनेक्ट्स टू दी हेल्थ सो ऑल दिस कम्स अंडर जोलॉजी मेडिसिन साइंस एंड रिलेटेड रिसर्च सो द स्टडी ऑफ इंटायर स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द प्लांट इन बॉटनी इज मेनली रिलेटेड टू प्रोडक्शन सो वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड द अंडरलाइंग प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ द प्लांट्स and we can take help those understanding in our production process when we are going to interact with by order so some are related to production some are related to human body structure as many things are common in human body and plants similarly philosophy and religion so when we study humans as you must have studied in uhv3 in uhv3 you have studied block b1 and block b2 so higher level activities come in block b1 so you have studied that in the self there are activities like realization understanding contemplation comparing tasting so we divided all these activities into two blocks block b1 and block b2 so you have understood in uhv3 that the activity of block b1 are definite they are basically the activity of realization activity of understanding activity of contemplation so this block is universal it is connected to realization of the reality so block b1 is actually a base for philosophy and religion so what reality we have understood we can see with higher level of activities <coughs> so basically block b1 is related to philosophy and religion religion and block b2 basically relates to psychology so when the block b1 is merged with block b2 there will be an emergence of various streams like politics economy religion etc all this comes in this block b2 so under the guidance of this block b1 our policies our politics our economy our religions becomes harmonious so every policy is a desirable situation will be rightful according to natural laws which is also known as dharma so some natural laws form the basis of right utilization depending on human psychology so if our b2 it means our psychology is governed from b1 higher level activities then we become stable then psychologically we become stable we become responsible so this is how this block b1 and b2 is connected so let's come back to previous slide so we are we were talking about philosophy and religion so in this connection we talked about block b1 and b2 so this philosophy and religion comes under block b1 because the activities which are going on b1 are basically related to reality so at the higher level activities of this b1 we are able to see reality and with block b2 we are able to make policies we are able to express through this block b2 so block b2 relates to psychology block b1 relates to philosophy and 
religion and when these two blocks are combined there is an emergence of various streams like politics economy and religion so based on this universal religion which is actually based on reality philosophy and psychology we all will participate in larger order and this participation in larger order will actually help in making the undivided society and this undivided society further needs different special branches to deal the societal order for example political science management technology etc so all will work in the sense of participation in larger order okay similarly if we see the civic science in a true sense so it will be the code of living in a mutually fulfilling relationship so basically civic science addresses code and conduct which are required to live in a mutually fulfilling manner if we talk about mathematics many times very large calculations calculations are required in that places mathematics becomes necessary for example measuring the smallest field or measuring the biggest distance like distance from one planet to another planet this kind of calculation can be done with the help of mathematics then social science so the need for the language is for expression there is a need for the language to express ourselves it can be hindi it can be english sanskrit basically the role of language is to express myself so whatever we want to convey to someone a medium is required a medium is needed to reach a language is needed for that so living together but when human beings started expressing themselves through language there was an emergence of society and this society gave birth to social sciences so when we further extend it in the form of history civic geography we can extend it political science became the sub branch of civic and it's further extend and gave birth to law and it can be extended to any extent but at the root of this all these expansions a basic understanding to live in harmony at levels is a must so i hope you have understood all these subject and its significance in the whole existence so all these subjects are required but we have to place them correctly we have to place them orderly we have to place them in the context of fulfilling life in the context of harmonious order so i hope you have understood all this uh, the significance of all these subjects you can also think of is there any subject which is not addressed here you can make list of such type of subjects then you investigate what would be the significant of those subjects and you can also evaluate what are we doing today with this subject so we give you a proposal with the right place of these subjects you can further investigate it whether these significants are described correctly or not so you can make your observations regarding this so let's move towards this diagram 
you have seen this diagram many times in UHV2, in UHV3. And this diagram is described many times during UHV courses. So, this diagram is basically of this existence. So, you have studied about existence, is a submergence of unit and space. In unit, you have studied material and consciousness, physical order, pranic order, animal order, human order, all this you have studied. And finally, it gets connected with the self. Because in this existence, the self is the knower. So, self has to understand all these existence. Now, we can place all the subject in this chart. So, whatever I have described just now, we can place all this subject in this chart. So, for example, B1 is related to philosophy, then B2 is related to psychology. Then if we are talking about behavior, then management, sociology, civics are required. Similarly, in pranic order, we can keep botany, geology, medical sciences, etc. When we are talking about material order, we can think of physics, chemistry, etc. So, you can think of this placement. Now, let us talk about infrastructure of education. So, if we require such kind of education, then there is a need for infrastructure. So, a lot of infrastructure is required, like building we needed, we needed resources for production. In fact, resources of production are needed, where the child can learn and do some production along with the under the guidance of teachers. So, in present education system, we can place the production system also, so that while learning, the student can learn production processes. So, it will be a practice learning for students and production is also required for teacher because he or she is devoting time for the education system which is basically a social work. And with this, we can learn lot from our tradition. From our tradition, we can learn what our previous generation had done, has achieved in the context of this human order, what is remaining to be done, all this we can evaluate with our tradition. So, there are many efforts had been made in tradition to ensure harmonious society. We all can learn from them. There are many technologies used by our, in our tradition. We can learn those technologies. We can learn many processes that processes were actually to ensure harmony. We can learn all those process, contents, etc. from previous generation, from our tradition and we can feel gratitude for them. So, with this, we can sum up the whole lecture. So, in this lecture, we basically talk about content of education and we talked about mental education, behavior, health, utility, etc. So, with this view of holistic vision and human goals, we also talked about significant of current subjects. So, we talked about the current subject, their placement with a holistic view. Then, we also talked about important role of education, role of tradition and learning and with this right understanding can be evaluated. So, in education system, there is also need to evaluate whether the student have got right understanding or not. And it can be evaluated in terms of lifestyle, habits, utilization of natural resources, their living, etc. So, that is all from my side students. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Let us meet in next lecture where we will discuss about education process. Thank you very much.